Hello everyone, Mark with High Tech Legion. In this video, I'm going to be doing an overview as well as showing you benchmarks, the included accessories, and the specifications on the EVGA Supernova Nex 750B power supply. This power supply is 80 plus bronze certified. It is semi-modular and comes with EVGA's five-year warranty as well as their customer support. So stay tuned. If we go ahead and take a look at the box here, included with the EVGA NEC 750B, we can see right on the front, it shows us the 80 plus bronze certification. Very nice logoed box, glossy finish. Very nice packaging from EVGA. On the back, we can see that it's part of their EVGA Supernova lineup. It features up to 750 watts at a rated 50 degrees Celsius. Provides up to 61 amps, 732 watts on the tw positive 12 volt rail. It is, there's modular cables. The main capacitor is a Japanese capacitor. It features an ultra quiet 135 millimeter two ball bearing fan. The 80 plus, plus bronze certification delivers up to 85% efficiency and it has a three plus two year global warranty with registration within 30 days of purchase on the EVGA website. The cables included the 124 pin, the two times four plus four pin EPS 12 volt CPU cables. So this power supply does support uh, dual CPUs or boards that require or have the option for two eight pin or four plus four pin EPS 12 volt connectors for the processor. It includes three six plus two pin PCI Express VGA cables, three times three SATA cables. So there are three included cables. Each cable has three SATA connectors. One included three times Molex cable. One included two times Molex cable plus one floppy connector. We can see the ratings on the bottom of the box here that show all our certifications over our 80 plus, plus bronze. The four 12 volt rails, each showing a capability of 20 amps, a 61 amp total combined for 732 of the 750 available watts, 150 watts combined between the positive 5 volt and positive 3.3 volt rails, 9.6 on your negative 12 volt and 15 on your plus 5 volt SB rail. We can see these ratings are all at 50% ambient at full load to gain that 80 plus bronze certification. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the box and see just what EVGA has included. And we can see that all of our cables here, that are our modular cables, are black all the way to the end of the connectors. They are sleeved in a single sleeving for all of the cables inside each connector. They all come wrapped in a Velcro EVGA logoed little wrap here to keep all your cables nice and tidy for the ones that you will not be using. Your SATA cables here are the same. Your black wires all the way to the end to the connector to keep everything nice and sleek inside the case. Nice connectors for the power supply and plenty of SATA connections for this power supply. Here is our secondary. You can see CPU 2 8 pin cable along with one, two VGA 6 plus 2 pins, both running on two separate cables. We also have our two Molex cables here. One has three Molex connectors, one has two Molex plus a floppy connector that are modular. So if you don't have any Molex inside your case, if you're running all devices that power through SATA power, you don't have to have these Molex cables connected. We have, of course, your standard power cable. And then EVGA has included in the little plastic baggie, which this is a nice feature. You have, of course, your power supply screws. And then this is your little power supply tester. 
So if you want to test to ensure the power supply works right, right out, once you bring it out of the box so that you're not putting it into your system, routing all your cables nicely, powering it on to figure out that maybe there's something wrong with the power supply, this is already jumped for you. So you can plug this right into your 24 pin connector. It only plugs in one way. Plug that into the wall and ensure that the power supply turns on. This is also, also useful if you're going to be water cooling your computer and you want to run your water pump or other accessories without having the components turned on um, or whatever other accessories that you might want to power on without having your important computer components powered on. This is, allows you to, you know, instead of having to jump the power supply, see what cables, what slots it goes into, they include that right out of the box. So that's something really nice that EVG includes. Next, let's get the power supply itself out of the box. We do have a semi-modular power supply. <clears throat> so, the cables on the power supply that are not modular, again, a little wrapped in our Velcro strap here, are your 24 pin. And the one thing that I will say about this, it is not sleeved all the way to the end. There are the colored cables here, but this is very flexible. So it is very nice cables uh, nice power wires that they've used for this power supply so you can make a nice tight bend coming out of your case to plug into your motherboard. It is very flexible. It is not black all the way to the end like the modular cables that are included but it is a nice very a very nice 24 pin uh, long enough so that you'd be able to route through pretty much any case. We will have the cable links noted in the rest of the review you have one included 6 plus 2 pin VGA cable that is hardwired and is not modular and we also have our 4 plus 4 8 pin EPS you can see CPU 1 that is also not modular um, most of the time people that are purchasing a power supply that are looking for something semi modular are utilizing a graphics card that uh, requires at least one 6 pin cable and your 8-pin uh, CPU connector and your 24-pin. Most of the time people looking for a power supply are going to have these three cables run in their case. So them not being modular I don't think hinders uh, this power supply at all. Uh, rather I think that being that this power supply features the added modular connectors um, at the price point that it is being offered at and at the quality of this power supply uh, it's a great feature that you get these modular connectors here. So here we can see, let's turn it the right way here, you have your peripheral, which are two six pin that would plug into the power supply here that would run your SATA, actually it's four, I'm sorry, your SATA connectors as well as your, or five, your SATA connectors as well as your Molex and the Molex plus the floppy. Then you have your two VGA connectors over here for VGA3 and VGA4 and your CPU uh, additional 8 pin if you were running a, a motherboard that needed two 8 pin uh, CPU connectors. We can see very nice here regardless of which way you were to mount the power supply in the case you you would still have access to your nice label with all of your power ratings on the side so if you were going to mount it where the fan was facing the inside of the case you have your power rating there if the fan was going to be mounted to the bottom of the case and ventilating through the bottom of your case you still get your nice power rating uh, sticker here so at all point in time you have that to reference of course you have your EVGA serial tag on the back side your standard power supply switch you can see very clean very open uh, very nice fan here the fan grill is mounted where that could be removed again our 135 millimeter ball bearing fan little badge over the EVGA badge here. Very durable, very sturdy power supply. The finish on this, it's not quite just solid black. Um, it kind of has maybe a, a graphite appearance. Um, this is the finish that you will see on their higher end power supplies as well. So they haven't just given you a case on this power supply, even though it's not one of their higher end units, that was put together 
with less than quality materials. It is very sturdy, very durable. You see the EVGA logo that is uh, inscribed right into the side here. So even though this is a 750 watt semi-modular, it's not their high end 1200 or 1500 watt power supplies, it still is wrapped in a very nice case, very nice fan. We know that the components inside are going to be very nice. We're going to see the efficiencies from those and from our benchmarks. And of course, it comes with that EVGA standard five year warranty with registration on EVGA's website. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our benchmarks. Now that we've had a look at just how well this power supply performs, it definitely lives up to its uh, certification and to the standards and the grade that EVGA supplies with all of their products. With their great customer support, um, we know that that's a big thing in the industry. If there were ever to be a problem, we know that EVGA will be around for that five year period to take care of any problems that may arise with this power supply. From my testing, from mounting this inside the case, the cable length, um, I was able to mount it inside very nicely. There were no problems. I was able to mount route all of the cables appropriately. They were long enough to reach my 8-pin with running that behind the motherboard tray. So while being modular and having those three cables still connected to the power supply, I was still able to route them behind the motherboard tray so that I was able to uh, make very neat cable management with this power supply as well. Just added features from a 750 watt power supply at this price point. The EVGA Supernova Next 750B is getting the gold rating from High Tech Legion. Make sure to visit our website at hightechlegion.com for the full review. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our upcoming video reviews. You can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash HTL reviews and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash high tech legion. Until next time, thank you.